By the 25th century, Earth's resources were ravaged, consumed, exhausted. Desperate and on the verge of extinction, we cast out into the void of space and discovered rich new worlds waiting to be cracked open and stripped bare. All of Earth became devoted to this effort. The planet crackers were built, the USG Ishimura the first and most famous. Planet cracking became routine. Its spoils kept us alive. Eventually, greedy eyes fell upon Aegis Seven. Restricted for centuries for reasons unknown, greed and corruption saw to the demise of caution. There, buried beneath the surface, an artifact, the Red Marker. Long lost and long forgotten. The religion I once called my own had found its holy grail, the key to human immortality. Or so we thought. It did not bring salvation. With us the conviction of a true It brought doom. Marker bred insanity, murder, and chaos. It bred necromorphs. Those who escaped the planet fled to the safety of the orbiting Ishimura. This is Shuttle CSO-4. The colony's overrun. We can't go back. The scourge released upon Aegis-7 came with them. <laughs> Within hours, the Ishimura went dark. The corporation dispatched a small repair crew to check on its investment. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. Among the crew was an engineer, Isaac Clark. Isaac, it's me. He had something special aboard the Ishimura. I wish I could talk to you. I'm... In the darkness, Isaac found death. It was not alien, it was man-made, and it could be used to stop the outbreak. Isaac also found Nicole. Thank you, Isaac. I always believed in you. Dead by her own hand, she was an apparition of the marker. Isaac engineered his escape. But everything else was destroyed. Three years later, he wakes in a hospital on Titan Station, an Earth-Gov metropolis on Saturn's largest moon. Isaac has survived, but his mind is no longer safe. For the marker changes all. It all started 300 years ago with the discovery of the Black Marker, an alien artifact found under the old Gulf of Mexico on Earth. It seemed to hold the promise of limitless energy until it produced dementia, insanity, and a twisted life after death known as necromorphs. The details of the original Black Marker disaster were buried in cover-ups and conspiracies but not before an entire religion could be launched in the name of one of its researchers, Michael Altman. His questionable death turned him into a martyr, and a unitology was born. To this day, it thrives. A secretive organization that believes the markers are divine, and their plan for us, a glorious unity of mind, body, and spirit. Generations after the black market disaster, mankind found himself going extinct from lack of resources. Desperate, 
he sought to replicate the Black Marker in an attempt to harness its limitless energies for himself. The records of this era are unclear, but we now know the replication was successful, but the cost too high. The marker copies were all buried, hidden in secret places across the universe where, to all our benefit, they might have stayed. But 200 years later, during an illegal mining operation on Aegis 7, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies, a red marker, and with it, the start of a new wave of marker infections. A key survivor of that incident was an engineer named Isaac Clark. That marker spoke to him and left him with a gift, a mental blueprint of the marker itself. Isaac was captured and tortured by EarthGov, his mind harvested for the marker's secrets. The marker program was thus restarted, and a new one built on the populous Titan Sprawl. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to escape, but just barely. There was nothing left but dust, just like Aegis 7. Since that time, the marker crisis has only deepened, and Isaac Clarke, his marker touch mind still burning with the ability to build or destroy them, stays in hiding, determined to retreat from the markers and all they have wrought. But there is hope. A backwater ice ball of a planet, where 200 years ago, someone somehow stopped a marker uprising in its tracks. A clue from the past that may save our future.